the rent. She gonna fuck with you. She gonna, she gonna give it to you. She gonna give you a hard time. She gonna give it to me. Think so? I know so. If you call her and tell her that you need you need help with the bills, and she give you the money, I I pay for your meal. Hello. Yeah. Good, bro. I'm down bad right now, and I need help on the uh on my car note. Do you think you could send me like uh like two hundred? Yeah. Or two. I might it might be two. Can you do two fifty or three hundred? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you could have said. It's, 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 I could have. You could have said. I could have said. I could have said. It's like that, man. I told you that's baby girl. Baby girl gonna take care of me. <laughs> man, I was literally already out there. <laughs> <laughs> you play too much. I love you, man. If you call. Let's go on these comments. If you a solid dude and take care of your shorty, she going to look out when you down bad. That's facts. That's how it should be on both ends if y'all rocking with each other. Her not questioning it or even hesitating speaks to his character and how good he treats her. Nobody but family can ask me for money. Y'all doing too much in these comments. If you ain't never had that had a man that come through, just say that. So ready to say this ain't a flex. Like we ain't all out here struggling to survive. How y'all want a man to look out for you? Sorry, you guys. How y'all want a man to look out for you only to say that he broke if he need help later? Everybody wants a good man as long as he always carries the financial responsibility. So what happens when he ain't got it? Y'all go. Y'all be traveling for no reason. Mine come through. He gonna always have what I have. Period. Okay. This ain't a flex. First of all, he lied to her. This whole video is trifling. Girl, get a life. They locked in because she didn't hesitate. He's probably so supportive regularly that she doesn't even, even mind. So yeah, I agree with these comments, especially this first comment left by Nathaniel Stewart. Typically, when you are a man who takes care of your woman, we're going to look out for you. That's just women by our nature. We're loyal to a default, sometimes to our own detriment. But if we know we have a man who looks out for us, even if you're just sweet to us, you're kind to us, and you need help, whether it's money or not, we're going to look out for you, period, and not ask any questions because we know your character and we know that you handle your business. So if you're coming to us about something, you really need it, and you've had our back nine times out of 10, so we're going to reciprocate that. Women, typically, when we're loved correctly and we're treated correctly, we don't have a problem with reciprocating that behavior, and that's just the facts. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Her Mother Shocking Opinion. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in to listen to what I have to say. If you are interested in listening to a woman who speaks from a very balanced perspective, I don't pick sides based on race or gender. I am just big on the truth and just remaining objective. I'm not perfect, but that's always my angle. So if you are interested in that, then this is the channel for you and I would love to have you part of my YouTube family. So you guys, I wanted to quickly make this video before I go to bed. Um, I am in my... Well, I mean, I've seen women wear this type of dress outside, but I consider this like my night, you know, gear or whatever to go to bed in. But I wanted to get this quick video in before I go to bed because I know once I go back to work tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to really make videos, honestly. So as you can see by the title of this video, what this video is going to be about, why is it that some men would rather suffer in silence than ask their woman for help? Whether that help is emotional no help, mental help, or financial help. More specifically in this video, it's more so aimed at financial help. If you need a loan or you need a favor that deals with money, why do so many men rather suffer and stress themselves out to near death before they simply ask their woman for money, for help? Um... So I feel like I kind of have some input on this as far as my opinion of why this is the case. Um, I feel like due to the societal standard um, norm of men being the providers, this could play a major role in why some men, I would say uh, uh, most men would rather go without, would rather work until, you know... <laughs> work themselves to death before they just simply ask for help. Um, and I feel like I speak on behalf of the women who think fair and we also love and appreciate our man that I would much rather you come to me and ask me for help, you know, and if I'm able to help you, I will help you 
than for you to be stressed out so much so that it's impacting the quality of our relationship because you have so much on your shoulders that you're trying to do for yourself to prove whatever, you know, you feel like you need to prove to me, you know, than just coming to me and asking for help. Um, if you are a man who you are a provider, right? It's really evident. You treat your woman very nicely, very respectfully. You do for her. Um, you take care of the household. You pay the bills, whether that's all of the bills or the bulk of the bills or the larger bills. And you have been consistent in that. I think that I can speak for like 90% of women when I say when it comes to a man like that, if he ever needs help financially, we will not think twice about helping you. And I am a woman who was taught by my dad and by my mom to never give a man money. Okay. I will do things for you. Like if you need me to do something, I will just go out and do the deed for you that you need me to do. But as far as handing money over in your hand, that's just something that I was raised to never do. But in this situation, I have a man who provides for me. He takes care of me. He never lacks, okay? He never uh, falls through on taking care of me. And he happened to hit a rough patch, whether that's losing his job or getting sick or just feeling overwhelmed, depressed, stressed out. Best believe if he needs money, I am there to pick him up because we have to understand that a relationship is 100-100, right? But sometimes you will have to pull the weight of that partner who is in the dumps, who is maybe depressed, sick, um, you know, just going through something in their own individual lives, in their own minds. Your duty as their partner is to lift them during this time, just as you would, you know, want them to lift you during the time, you know, if you were to go through something like that. So I definitely feel like societal pressure, societal uh, standards of men largely play a role in that in the, the idea that a lot of men um, associate their ability to provide with their manhood. So I feel as though this is why a lot of men would simply rather suffer in silence, be stressed the hell out, than simply come to their woman and say, hey, I need help. I need help. And I also feel like a lot of men feel if they come to their woman and say that they need financial help, that their woman is then going to view them as less of a man or less of a provider. And I feel like it's important to establish the foundation there. If you are a man who has been consistent in providing for this woman, treating this woman lovely, being very respectful, being a total gentleman to this woman, and you happen to hit a rough patch, that woman is not going to mind helping you out financially because you have shown your consistency. You've shown your leadership. You've shown your dedication to her. You've shown the, the, you know, the love to her. So, you know, we, most of us, we're waiting, you know, not to say, um, if I see my man suffering or stressed out that, if I see my man suffering or stressed out that I'm going to just sit there and be quiet until he comes to ask me. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is we see you working hard. We see you providing. We see you taking good care of us. And best believe while we're saving our money because you're affording us the opportunity to be able to save our money because you are taking care of the bulk of things. Best believe the money that we are saving, it a large portion of that money is for rainy days where you can come to me and say, hey, I need help. And it's not going to be a second thought in my mind. And I'm not going to view you as less than because I know that you are, in fact, a hardworking man. I know that you are, in fact, a provider. So I feel like this just is something. And, you know, I feel like this this is kind of impacting my life at this point in time um, in relation to this topic. But I won't go in depth of that because that's my personal business. But I just really wanted to speak on this topic because I feel like a lot of women go through this, but we're not as vocal about it. And I feel like a lot of men go through this in their own way where, you know, they're grinding, you know, they're taking care of the household, but they're stressed out, they're overwhelmed. And instead of just coming and asking, just ask, okay? You should feel comfortable coming to your woman and asking her for help if you need help. It does not make you less of a man. It does not make you, you know, all of a sudden you're not a provider. All of a sudden you're a loser or, or, you know, any negative term. It does not make that true. And most of us women are not going to see it that way. 
So let me know you guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Why, if you are one of those men who would rather just suffer and grind it out, be stressed the hell out before you come and ask your woman for financial help, let me know why is that the case. Like, and I don't want any shallow comments. I want you to really sit and ponder and be honest. This is a safe space. That means that you can leave your comment and trust that if someone responds to your comment negatively or disrespectfully and I see it, it's going to be removed. Um, and they might be blocked from this channel because I just don't tolerate that. In the same way with women, do you agree that we are, we don't mind helping out our man who is hardworking. We know he's hardworking. We know he takes care of business. We, we've been the living proof for, you know, for however time we've been with that man. So do you agree with me when you say, if your man was to come to you and say, you know what, babe, I'm feeling depressed or I really need help. I'm, I'm struggling right now to, you know, keep this afloat. Do you agree with me that we would not have a problem? It's like, why did you even wait until you got depressed? You could have been came to me, my dear, and I wouldn't have an issue at all. So let me know if you agree with me, if you're a woman who agrees with me on that. And if you disagree, then let me know that as well. But I feel like we should be able to have our significant others back. Uh, you know, just off the rip. Okay. So I will catch you guys on my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, make sure you join my YouTube family. Peace.